Hi, I'm Jeffrey. This is the story of my adventures trying to find out how to meet women. It's a fairly short story because I got a late start. You see, I recently broke up with Rachel, who was my first real girlfriend. After eight years, Rachel said she'd grown tired of my numerous shortcomings and she kicked me out of the apartment. So for the first time in my life, I was out in the real world on my own. At first, I thought it'd be a great opportunity. Single in San Francisco. But then I realized, I don't have any friends. So I spent a lot of time in the hotel room I was renting, just thinking. I realized that if I wanted some female companionship, I was going to have to get out there, as they say. So I spent many hours taking long walks through the city, considering all the ways to meet women. You know, it's one thing to get out there, but what do you do once you're there? How does one meet women? Well, have you ever seen in the movies where two strangers just run into each other and fall in love? I thought this could be a great way to meet someone. So I tried just walking into some women, you know, by accident. Maybe it sounds silly, but it's actually a serious operation that's not without its difficulties. I also tried going to a self-help seminar called How to Meet Women. Okay, laugh if you want to, but I did meet some interesting people. The group leader said that we had to take action now, or else we'd be denying ourselves the greatest gift that God has given the male persuasion. He encouraged us to get started immediately by taking a simple step. Place a personal ad. He said it's nothing to be ashamed of, so I signed up with some dating websites. Have you ever tried to describe yourself in the personals? Most of the ads go something like, fun-loving, physically fit male, loves hiking, travel, looking for a long-term commitment. <laughs> you know, if I wrote something like that, a lot of women out there would be in for some serious disappointment. I thought, why can't I just be honest? So I was. Believe it or not, I got some responses. See? Honesty works. Unfortunately, getting the responses was the easy part. The hard part was the dates. Why is it that people always seem different in person from the way you visualize them? And sometimes I wonder if the photos these women use are really even current. Is that you? I did manage to go out with one girl I really liked. Her name was Sharon, and she was really nice and cute too. We had dinner, and afterwards we went to her place. And we got to the point where I thought I should make a move. Then I realized, I have no idea how to do that. I mean, how do you make the transition from politely chatting with someone you barely know to kissing with your mouths open? Well, I remembered something I learned in the seminar. Send a subtle message without speaking. That's when Sharon told me, very nicely, that she wasn't attracted to me and there was no point in carrying on. I told her I appreciated her honesty, which unfortunately encouraged her to tell me that I really didn't seem good with women. And then she asked me if I ever considered that I might be gay. That got me thinking. Maybe I am gay. So I tried hanging out in the Castro to see if it did anything for me. For those of you who don't know, the Castro is the gay neighborhood here in San Francisco. I mean, I really gave it a try. And some of the guys I met were really nice. But somehow, the feeling just didn't come to me. Have you ever been so depressed you wanted to die immediately? I wanted to jump off the tallest building in San Francisco. But unfortunately, it's a pyramid and there's no place to jump off from. And when I really got to thinking about it, I figured that death might be even worse than being single. And that really scared me. But my dilemma unexpectedly came to an end when Rachel showed up at my door. It turned out the reason that she'd broken up with me was that she was having an affair with a coworker. But now he had dumped her. She said she realized how much she loved me and that she couldn't stand the idea of me being all alone in the world. And just like that, I wasn't single anymore. I don't know. Being single has its advantages, but I just think that I'm better suited for being in a relationship. Now you might be thinking, what a loser. But try to understand, there are millions of guys like me. We just don't know how to meet women. <laughs>